Hello, this is Mr. A. Badger, and welcome to the 12th episode of the Stardew Valley Let's Play. And it's getting dark, so we should head inside. There we go. Okay, so last time. Okay, so last episode, we got a heck ton of wood. That's what we did. Exciting! Okay, so this time I thought we'd go down and start mining again because I like mining. Mining's pretty fun. Oh, we could take some of this stuff, take it downstairs. Anyway, so let's go and do some mining because I thought, you know, we spent one time, one episode wood cutting, let's do another episode mining. Now I know it's kind of annoying, but all this grinding is important for a Minecraft episode, Minecraft Let's Play, so we gotta, we gotta do the grind. We gotta, we gotta stick, stay, we gotta keep at it and keep grinding and get a lot of resources. That's just what we gotta do. We just gotta do it. Okay, we're back down here. Let's stuff this in there. Stuff that in there. We got a heck ton of leather. There. Can we bake apples? No, we can't. I know we can't. Why did I even try? We can make maybe a... Oh yeah, we can take some emergency golden apples just in case we get into a pickle land. Let's just stuff that. We have a full chest of junk. Our base is practically down here at this point, if we're if we're going to be honest with ourselves. Our separate woods. Okay, we're going to have to put tank a lot of this jungle wood and turn it into planks for the mine. I don't want to do that too much because I want to keep a lot of it wood, so we can so we can have some options for when we build our base. If we decide to do the Ewok thing as our base, maybe we'll make a separate house as our base. Or maybe we'll just be a hermit and live down here for the rest of our lives. Put the emergency golden apples there, just in case. So let's go... We uh, did that place a lot. Let's go the opposite way. Uh-huh. That's dangerous. I believe this is nearby where our... where our thing is. So... One... If I died there, I'd be really mad. Gotta make a bridge over it. Oh, this is a cave. Have we even have, have we explored this cave? Be careful. Diamonds. Do I see diamonds? I can't reach over there. Okay, that's a safety hazard. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Four lengths that this way. Well, I guess a normal person conversation starter would be four, five, six, seven, eight. A normal person conversation starter would be, have you read any good books lately? And I actually have. Uh, if you guys are interested, I actually have. Because I have zero literary skill, I have started reading Wings of Fire. You know, that's a big fandom, a fan base, a big fan base. Huh, cave. That's a big fan base. I know a lot of people like that one. 
and I like it. I'm actually, I've actually read basically the whole thing apart from the third saga, and I'm currently working on Dragon Slayer, that, which is a good one. I, I was not expect, I was kind of worried about it, but you know, it ended up being good. You know, Dragon Slayer. You know, the one about all the humans, I will uh, avoid spoilers. Now, if you are uh, an adult or a teenager who is thinking, ah, oh, it is a children's series, it is not good, do not judge a book by its cover. I am telling you that this is some of the best, this is an extremely good book series that anyone can enjoy. Like, seriously, this is, it's so well written. It's written by the same people as Warriors, so, well, not the same people, the same one of the perp people. So we're just going to dig until we uh, dig to the thing. It is so good. I, I can tell you it's like it's it is there are basic parts because it is meant to be a children's book, but it has a lot. It has a lot of things that that an, an older audience can grasp to. The world building is very well done. It has a lot of it's just has a lot of nice aspects. You can you you yourself can reach to it's good storytelling. So, I would definitely suggest it. There's a lot to get into. Like, like you're, if you dedicate yourself to it, you're going to have a lot of content that you could, just put, you could just muzzle yourself in and just get lost in the world. So, you know, you're not going to get bored. You're not going to get bored, I can tell you that. Put one there. Uh, getting sh the shovel was definitely a good investment, got to say. Good investment, must agree. Oh, my screen seems darker all of a sudden. Ah, oh, it's, it's my computer plugged in. No, it's not, that's why. Because my computer has a battery the size of a peanut. Uh, but I can only have the choice of either my computer or my lamp because my computer outlet is garbage and only allow and only has one working one working side. It's so stupid. And then my computer fan decides to go psycho mode. Yeah, it's just so dumb. My, I, every sing, I'm just moved, as I said, and every single outlet in my room, only the top one works. And I'm like, why? Why must you harm me in this way? Just so stupid. Like, all these outlets, only the top one works. And it's extremely annoying because I can either choose, I can either choose my, my iPhone or my lamp. They're, like, 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 what is this? Like, I have three outlets in my room, oh, each one, only the top one working, and, but one of them is, like, right next to my door, so I can't really leave my iPhone on the floor, because there's no tables there, so I can, like, it's practically useless. Why? Why must you hurt me in this way? Ah, uh, yes, you can now watch a montage of me just slowly descending into madness as my perfectionist self works out and continues this mad matrix kind of mind thing. I'm, I'm starting to get convinced that this literally doesn't actually, isn't actually as useful as it might be. But you know, I'm, ar I'm already too far gone. I'm already too far gone. I gotta continue. I'm already too far gone. Okay, we are here, so let's start going this way. Just yeeting ourselves down, and we're making another ghost tunnel over there like the video beforehand. And of course, terrible cave sounds, that must mean there might be a cave nearby. Okay, we got that one, so I'm gonna go back, and we'll make a, a tunnel going the other way, hopefully to intercept this one.
And I was correct. In fact, we even went over. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The Ten Dual Commandment. Okay, I have to say that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, <laughs> uh, Hamilton. Ah, uh, man, that, it's so weird that that's old. I was... I remember I actually didn't see it when I came out. I only saw it actually like a year ago for the first time. Now every time I'm counting, I just hear that. Yeah, I'd say it's a pretty good musical. All the Hamilton fans are like, It's the best musical ever to come out of Broadway! How dare you say that? Okay, first of all, it seems like, broad, it seems like theater kids think that every single musical is the best thing to ever come happen to entertainment in the face of the planet. So, get off your high horse. I don't know, something about theater kids kind of rubbed me the wrong way, kind of. I don't know, it seems like, as I said, it seems like they, they seem to think that every single musical that comes out of Broadway is the best thing that ever happened to the face of humanity. So, it's just kind of weird. Ah, oh, we got a lot of coal and iron. Ah, oh, two iron veins. I don't know, Hamilton was very good, and now I... And now I'm like, I've gotten very invested in listening to the soundtrack on Spotify. Great listen. Really like it. And I should probably should actually watch it again. It's probably really good. It's on Disney Plus, because Disney Plus has stuff. How, how did it get owned by Disney Plus again? Disney already owns everything. Why does it own Dis Why does it own Hamilton? Answer me that. Where, how did they get that right? That's even awful, because then they started censoring it. Now this now, now this is gonna be weird because I censor myself in my in my in my in my videos. I said the F word last time and I and I censored myself because I because my own I I don't like the idea of Disney just going into an art piece and then censoring it. Like it's I don't think that's good. That's not healthy just for their family friendly thing. I just personally don't want to say those words myself. I, I wanna get out of that habit myself personally, but I don't think Disney should be forcing themselves onto onto the Broadway musical. That's not that's not a good idea. That's not good. They don't I don't think they even technically own it. And I think because of that it's even censored in the Spotify thing. It's even censored in the Spotify song. Like when he says mother you know what? Like they censor that in the in the in the in the Spotify thing, and I, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. It's kind of good for me, so I don't hear it that much, because I'm already having a problem swearing. Personally, I want to stop swearing myself. That's a personal thing. But I don't think it's their right, I don't think it's their right to stop them from swearing. Freedom of speech, am I right? That's how America works. Ooh, lapis. You can't control other people's actions. That's just how it works. And that's why, I, well, at least that might be the reason. Why in my videos with uh with my friend that I uh, on Stardew Valley we we made those videos together like I think he swears a couple times I honestly don't remember like that's why I don't censor him because it's his choice it's not my job it's hit it, we we all have a right for our own free speech that's how America works also I think it's kind of rude to censor him out I'm not sure if that's polite of me. Anyway, it's not like I have monetization on the line. I'm not popular. Ooh, gold. I could go on more about swearing, but I'd have to think about it a bit more. Yeah. Well, I guess I could tell you why I don't swear on my on my YouTube channel. Like, mostly the reason why I don't swear is because most because I don't want to swear myself. Second of all, I come I, I personally am a very paranoid person. Growing up, I wasn't allowed to listen to to watch YouTube videos who swear. Who swore. That makes sense, and a lot of times I get paranoid, and I'd worry if something is bad enough. I'm just, as you could tell, I'm very obsessive. You could tell by my mind that I'm a very obsessive person. I obsess over those things. So I wanted to make my YouTube channel just something where kids could watch, and they don't have to worry about, is this is this too much swearing? Is it, do, do I, can I not watch this? I, I, don't, I don't want people to worry that much. So I don't do it myself, so they so they don't have to have that burden on them. That's why I don't swear in my videos. Just as a public service announcement, I guess. That that's why. So paranoid children like me, 
don't have to worry about watching a YouTube channel. Hey, am I getting all the all the places? Everything good? Let's pick up some of this coal. We have not found diamonds yet. My computer fan's blaring again. Maybe I can turn it on silent mode or something. There we go. Uh, we still got, uh, we still got tunnels over there to do. Just zoom through these. Okay, and, uh, oh, big cave. So that is a big section of the mines done. And I think here, it's about time to end off the video once again. We'll hold our pickaxe for the thumbnail this time. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, then you could drop a like or leave a comment. Both would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you really like my videos, please subscribe. That'd be cool. Leave a comment. Leave a comment down below about whatever, judging me for my obsessive compulsion of always wanting to make this mine completely perfect and focusing on the mine instead of actually getting materials. Irony. Thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye!